This tutorial will show you how to create a new page in your Drupal website. In order for you to create a new page, you would need to go under Content Management, Create Content, and go to the content type that you want to create. For this case, we're just going to use the basic page. Once you get to the new page, you would place a title. This title is what's going to show up on your browser tab up here. And the next item is creating a menu, a menu uh, name or menu link. This is what's going to show up on the, the menu on the left or on the right, depending on your website. So for this example, I'm just going to place it under general information on the, the left side. And this parent item is pretty much um, your menu, uh, your different menus on your website. For this case, I'm going to choose the first menu on the left side bar. The less than and greatest sign pretty much indicate that that's a main a menu item and the dashes indicate sub sub menu items and the more dashes the, 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 the means that there is more uh, sub menu items within the sub uh, menu items in, in the menu um, the different menus on your website so once again I'm just going to create the general information weight pretty much decides where uh, you want your menu placed the higher it is um, you know, or the lower that it is depends on which number you select. For this case, I'm just leaving it as zero, and zero will just automatically uh, create it in alphabetical order. Now the next item, this is your WYSIWYG, what you see, what you get. Most of the icons you're pretty familiar with. As you browse on the icons, you can see what they are, bold, it italic, um, uh, underline. I'm just going to uh, show you a few of the most frequently used icons and for this I'm just going to show you a few things how to create a link attach um, an image attach a file and um, create a table once again as you browse on these icons you'll be able to see the description of each item in order for you to create a link pretty much what you have to do is just highlight um, the text that you want to be linked for this case, I'm just going to create a basic link to the BYU homepage. Once you click on um, the link, it'll open up this pop-up window where you place the link. Uh, there is other options. You can create anchors. Uh, you can decide to open the link in a new window or uh, in a frame and, and so forth. Or if you want to do a pop-up, uh, there are advanced options that you can play around with. But for this example, we're just going to use the basic uh, settings. So now we have created a link that would take us to a, 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 another website. Now the next item is to attach an image. Once you, if you want to attach an image, you would click on this uh, tree icon, which which says insert and edit image. I would uh, get this pop up. Once I get the pop up, I would browse my desktop, and I would choose a file, and I'm just gonna pick a, an, a, an image and upload it and it's going to show at the bottom right here once I click on it I place the image there and then I need to give it uh, uh, a description or image tag that would help in search engine optimization and also for um, screen readers for the visually impaired you can put a title or and then uh, there are options of uh, deciding where you want um, the, the image to be or you can uh, control um, the image size up here and then you can do additional options if you want to do mouse on over mouse out and now I have my insert image inserted here now the next is I want to attach uh, a PDF to, to to my document so the first thing I want to do is I want to go under atta the attach file option which is this little uh, dialogs box here. I'm going to choose my um, my PDF, and once I attach it, you will see that the PDF has been attached. Now, if I want to link it in my document, I pretty much have to just um, highlight the the URL of where the PDF has been placed on the, the server. Go back to my link option, paste the link and now my PDF is attached or linked um, in the document. If you notice here you have the list option 
if I don't want to create a link but just want this to show up at the bottom of my document I can leave that there now the next one is creating a table uh, the create the, the table create table option is pretty much like word you can have different cell padding uh, the number of columns number of rows and once you insert that you will have your table you'll be able to um, insert information and modify um, your your document um, that's pretty much just the basic uh, tools that you would use um, to create document remember after you've done uh, you have to place a URL path if you which is really important in helping find um, you know uh, pages you just um, place the URL pretty much what what's going to show up after the you know your your department URL so it's important that you place a URL um, which will help uh, find you know your users the visitor people visiting your site to find your 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 pages easily once you're done creating the page you just uh, hit save and you'll notice that our test menu item is on the the menu right there our image uh, our link to the to the website and this is the file that we've attached remember the list makes it available here so you don't have to create it this is our table so that's your, pretty much your basic um, create page and uh, create, create, create options